In this video, we will learn how to design a 3-bit binary weight addresses per network digital tunnel converter. We know that for a digital tunnel converter, resolution is one of the most important parameters. So resolution of a digital tunnel converter is the smallest possible change in the output of a digital tunnel converter. Let us consider a 4-bit digital to analog converter with resolution 2. The sequence of output voltages will be like for input combination 0000, 0, 0, 0 output voltage is equal to 0. For input combination 0, 0, 0, 0001, output voltage is equal to minus 2 volt and so on. Again for a 4-bit digital to analog converter with resolution 0.5, the sequence of output voltages will be like for various input combinations 0000, 0, 0, 0 output voltage is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0001 output voltage is equal to minus 0 0.5 volt. For input combination 0010 0, 0, output voltage is equal to minus 1 volt. For a n bit digital channel of converter, Resolution is given as, resolution is equal to range divided by 2 raised to n minus 1. So we are going to design a 3-bit binary weighted resistor network digital channel of converter with reference voltage V rough is equal to 5 volt and resolution is equal to 0 0.5 volt. So here the circuit consists of an operational amplifier. In inverting mode, as its non-inverting input is connected to ground. The binary weighted resistor network consists of three resistors of value R, R by 2 and R by 4. A resistance RF is connected between output terminal and inverting input of the operational amplifier which is the feedback resistance. When an input bit is equal to zero, a SPDT switch of the corresponding input is connected to ground and when an input is equal to one, a SPDT switch of that input is connected to reference voltage plus five volt. So this is the truth table of the circuit. When input combination is equal to 0, 0, 0, output voltage is equal to 0. When input combination is equal to 0, 0, 1, output voltage is equal to minus 0, 0.5. And when input combination is equal to 1, 1, 1, output voltage is equal to minus 3.5. Unknowns in this circuit are feedback resistance RF, then R, R by 2 and R by 4. So actually there are only two unknowns in this circuit, feedback resistance RF and R. Once the value of R is known, we can find the values of R by 2 and R by 4. So here we want to find the value of resistance R and RF. Let us reduce this 3-bit digital to analog converter to a 1-bit digital to analog converter with resolution minus 0.5 so that we can find the values of RF and R. First input combination is 0. D0 is equal to 0. When D0 is equal to 0, output voltage V0 is equal to 0. 
and when V0 is equal to 1, output voltage V0 is equal to minus 0 0.5 volt. So in this case, current flows through resistance R as D0 is equal to 1. And this current flows through feedback resistance RF also. Reference voltage is equal to 5 volt. Let us fix the value of current flow through resistance R as 1 milliampere. It is mere assumption. So we know that current flow through resistance R is given as I0 is equal to Vr minus V inverting divided by R. Due to virtual ground, V inverting is equal to 0. Therefore, we can write I0 is equal to Vr divided by R. Or we can write R is equal to Vr divided by I0. So, we will get R is equal to 5 divided by 1 milliampere. So, R is equal to 5 kilo ohms. So, when input is equal to 0, 0, 001, output voltage is equal to minus 0.5 volt. Current flows through resistance R of value 5 kilo ohms and that current is assumed as 1 milliampere. So, this current flows through feedback resistance RF causing a voltage drop across the feedback resistance RF which is equal to 0.5 volt. So RF is equal to minus V0 divided by IF. So RF is equal to minus of minus 0 0.5 divided by 1 milliampere. So RF is equal to 500 ohms. If RF is equal to 500 ohms, then only output voltage is equal to minus 0 0.5 volt when input is equal to 0, 0, 001. So the design is complete. We have the value of feedback resistance R of as 500 ohms and uh, value of R is equal to 5 kilo ohms. If value of R is equal to 5 kilo ohms, then R by 2 is equal to 2.5 K and R by 4 is equal to 1.25 K. So this is our final circuit. Now, let us verify the circuit. We will apply some input combinations. When digital input is equal to 0, 0, 0, all the digital inputs are 0. So, all the three SPDT switches are connected to ground. So, current flow through all the three resistors in the binary weighted resistor network is equal to 0. So, I0 is equal to 0, I1 is equal to 0, I2 is equal to 0. So, IF is equal to I0 plus I1 plus I2 which is equal to 0 milliampere. Therefore, output voltage V0 is equal to 0 volt. Now, let us apply the next input combination 0, 0, 1. When input combination is equal to 0, 0, 1, so D2 is equal to 0, D1 is equal to 0, and D0 is equal to 1. So current flows through 5 kilo ohms resistance, but current flow through the other two resistors of value 2.5K and 1.25K is equal to 0. Therefore, Feedback current IF is equal to 1 milliampere plus 0 milliampere plus 0 milliampere that is equal to 1 milliampere. When 1 milliampere current flows through 500 ohms resistance, 
voltage drop across 500 ohms resistance is equal to 0 0.5 volt. So, output voltage V0 is equal to minus IF into RF. So, output voltage V0 is equal to minus 0 0.5 volt. Now, let us consider the next input combination 0, 1, 0. So, this time V2 is equal to 0 and D0 is also equal to 0, but D1 is equal to logic 1. As D1 is equal to logic 1, the SPDT switch connected to that input is connected to reference voltage plus 5 volt and the other two SPDT switches are connected to ground. So, current flow through 5 kilo ohms resistance is equal to 0 milliampere. Current flow through 2.5 kilo ohms resistance is equal to 2 milliampere. And current flow through 1.25 kilo ohms resistance is also equal to 0 milliampere. Therefore, current flow through feedback resistance RF is equal to 2 milliampere. Therefore, voltage drop across the feedback resistance RF is equal to 2 milliampere into 500 ohms. That is equal to 1 volt. So, output voltage V0 is equal to minus IF into RF. Therefore, output voltage V0 is equal to minus of 2 milliampere into 500 ohms that is equal to minus 1.0 volt. Now, let us consider the next input combination 1, 0, 0. When Input is equal to 1, 0, 0. D0 is equal to 0. D1 is equal to 0. And D2 is equal to 1. So, SPDT switch for input D2 is connected to reference voltage. And the other two SPDT switches are connected to ground. So, current flow through 5 kilo ohms resistance is equal to 0. Current flow through 2.5 kilo ohms resistance is equal to 0. And current flow through 1.25 kilo ohms resistance is equal to 4 milliampere. Therefore, feedback current IF is equal to 4 milliampere plus 0 milliampere plus 0 milliampere. So, feedback current is equal to 4 milliampere. Therefore, Voltage drop across the feedback resistance is equal to 4 milliampere into 500 ohms. That is equal to 2000 millivolt or 2 volt. Output voltage V0 is equal to minus IF into RF. That is output voltage V0 is equal to minus 2 volt. The other input combinations like 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. 110 and 111 are the superpositions of these three input combinations 001, 010 and 100. Thank you for watching Circuit Analytica. Enjoy learning.